Hey guys, welcome to Zola Blocks. In this block tutorial, we will show you how you can customize the post grid block to showcase your site posts in Gutenberg. Let's start. Like always, we will start with a container block and customize the padding values to get a sizable content area. Then click inside the blank container and search for the post grid. Once you find the block name icon, click on it to insert it. So, this is the default appearance of the post grid. There's a post image, category, title, and meta. There's also the author avatar visible, once hovered over the post images. From the options on your right, you can choose from four unique content styles. Each content style is designed to suit different niches, as well as to meet different user persona. Right below, there are a couple of buttons that show or hide. The title, excerpt, read more button, category, author, etc. These are visual elements of the grid that you can customize at will. You can turn on and turn off a few to see how that changes the front end. Additionally, there are reading time and pagination features available. After the general section under the basic tab, there's the content section. Here, you can choose a title tag and total words for the title to show on the screen. Yes, you can limit the number of words for the titles here. Next is the GERD controls. This section lets you choose the number of columns for the grid. You can reduce the number or increase it. Also, you can adjust the gap in between. This gap is both row and column gap combined, which you can also edit separately. The next section is the query. Here, you can choose the source of the post grid between pages and posts. Then you can show posts by selecting authors. There are include and exclude fields that let you choose posts to show or hide from the display. You can also show posts based on categories. Also, you can customize the post visibility based on tags. Right below, the post per page option lets you set a limit to the number of posts to be displayed on the grid. The last two options are sorting options, just to use them for rearranging the order by ascending or descending, by dates or author, etc. These are all basic settings. And now we will venture into the Style tab to explore the appearance customizations. The first section lets you customize the item container. For instance, you can add a border around the post containers, choose a border type, and adjust the width of it. You can edit the border radius to curve the edges of the items. You can also use padding to shrink or expand the area around the post items. At the bottom, the background color options let you pick a color for the whole item background, including the content area. Because the image occupies the top part, the background color is hidden there. Not to forget, there's also a box shadow option at your disposal. Next is the content section, consisting of only a padding option that lets you adjust the area of the content part. After that comes the thumbnail section. Here, you can change the thumbnail image height as much as you want. The image size can also be changed. There's also a border option available for you to add borders on the images, followed by a border radius option right below. And after the margin option, you get the background color and box shadow options for images. Next is the title section. Here, the first option is typography. Get a bunch of font customizations here, including font family, style, weight, transform, line height, etc. Once you have a decent font style for the title, go ahead and change the title color too. For convenience and style, the color option also comes in hover mode for the title. After that, comes the Meta section. Like before, go for the Typography option first. Then you can change the color of the Meta content. There's also a Space and a Margin option available. The next section is a Category. Yes, start with Typography first.
After that, you can work with the border, or change the border radius values to curve the edges. Let's put 10 values into padding as well. You can also adjust the margin to add spacing around the category, or edit the margin for specific directions only. Then at the bottom, change the text color to white, and the background color to a deep tone. For hover, simply add a different color to the background, and that should make all the difference when hovered. The last section is for the author's info. For this one, you can start changing the gap between the avatar and the text. The avatar size can also be changed. There are also border and border radius options for the avatar, which you can edit to add a nice semblance to it. Then go for the name typography option below. Once the editing is done, go ahead and update the changes. Now your post grid is ready to show off. You can also refer to these ready patterns, created with the same post grid block. Just to give you a glimpse of what you can achieve with Zoloblocks post grid feature. That's all for this video. Thanks for choosing Zoloblocks. Please like and subscribe to get more blocks tutorial as soon as they are available. Stay connected with BD Themes.